Hey, good morning, church. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we wanted to share with you a few things this morning as we kind of press on in a new week here. Uh, and one of the things that we wanted to talk to you about today uh, was about prayer. And we're walking through the book of Acts, and next week we're going to be in Acts chapter 1, uh, beginning in verse 12, and we're going to look at the disciples uh, in the room as they wait for uh, the Holy Spirit. One of the things that sticks out in that passage of Scripture is Acts chapter 1, verse 14, uh, where the Scripture says this, they, were, they all were continually united in prayer, along with the women including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. So that phrase there, they were all continually united in prayer. Now, there's something about prayer that changes our lives. We know this, but there's something greater about a group of people, a, a body of believers that's united continually in prayer. So one of the things that uh, we are going to be a part of is May 1st through the 7th, the Arkansas Baptist State Convention is asking churches to be a part of a week of prayer. And so we're going to participate May 1st through the 7th. And during that time frame, uh, they've asked for churches and we're asking you, we're going to be a part of this uh, to do a couple of things. <clears throat> First, they're asking that we all fast from one meal a day, so breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Just pick a meal during each of those days and just spend some time fasting during that time. We, we're no stranger to fasting around here. We have our 21 days of prayer and fasting in, in January. But during this time, we're going to take one day and we're going to fast during that meal each of those particular days. The other thing that we're going to do is that we're going to set our alarms on our phones at 7.14 a.m., and 7.14 p.m. Just a, a gentle reminder on your phone to just take a few moments and pray. So maybe you're right before you eat breakfast, right before you finish dinner, whatever your day looks like, but to take those moments and just spend some time in prayer and praying for our church, for our country, for our leaders, and, and being a part of that. Then on Thursday, May the 7th, is the National Day of Prayer. So this entire week leads up to Thursday, May 7th. We're going to spend fasting from a meal each day. Uh, we're going to spend two twice a day in prayer uh, over some specific prayer requests that we'll, we'll share with you. And then on Thursday, May the 7th, here's what we want to do. We want to have 24 hours of prayer at our church. So beginning at midnight on Thursday, May 7th, all the way up, we're going to spend some time in prayer. We're going to have places for you to sign up. Uh, we may have multiple people sign up for an hour uh, or 30 minute slot or whatever time frame, but our prayer is, is to fill up that entire 24 hours and be in prayer together, continually united in prayer. So you're going to hear a lot from us on social media and other avenues about things that we're going to pray for and what those days are going to look like. But I just want to plant that seed in your heart today and let you know that uh, on May 1st through the 7th, we're going to have a week of prayer and we're partnering uh, with other churches across the Arkansas Baptist State Convention and doing this. And so my heart is that we will pray together, uh, that God will use this time to continually unite our hearts together in ministry and in love. I love you guys. Uh, we miss being with you, uh, but we want you to know we're praying for you and uh, we're preparing for the time in we, which we can all get back together. Let me pray and then uh, we'll be on. Uh, God, thank you for today. Uh, thank you for the truths in your word and the picture of just a group of people who are continually united in prayer, a theme that's seen all throughout the book of Acts as people are gathered together in prayer. So I pray now as we prepare our hearts for May the 1st through the 7th, uh, a week of prayer, as we partner with other churches around the state and praying throughout the day, God, I pray that you would just prepare our hearts now and uh, give us wisdom and direction on things to pray for each day throughout that week. I thank you that you hear our prayers. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you care about us. Thank you that you are here with us even now. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a good week.